So I've got a question for you. What's a hammer and a chisel got to do with gold? Stay tuned to find out. All right, hello, welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've just spent water absolutely everywhere, like a right twat. For all of you who've already watched the previous episode, which I'll pop a link up just there. Um, as you saw, I found some gold. However, my wok needs a bit of an upgrade. Now, Mr. Mark Wiseman, if you're watching, this is kind of for you, mate. So, I am proper hobo styling this one out. So, hammer and chisel, and I am literally gonna whack myself some riffles, yeah, technical term, gonna whack myself some riffles into this wok, and just in the vain hope that there might still be some gold in the material I've got left to um, pan, we can get it out because I'm basically too lazy and too tight to buy an actual gold pan. So without further ado, I will spin the camera around to the workbench and we'll take it from there. So the idea is gonna be, I'm literally gonna just have at it. I think I will just whack a few lines in. Um, hopefully I won't put a hole for it and all will be good. Let's give it a go. Just to say, if anyone else chooses to do this, I'm not professional and you should not be copying me. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Nah, nah, that ain't gonna work. Welcome back. Sorry, I've had to take a couple of minutes. We've uh, upgraded to the vice. We've upgraded to a whatever pound club hammer. Um, okay, it's sort of working now. So when there's a slight gap in the jaws of the vise, it's got something for the metal to move. Now it's not hugely effective, but we shall see. It is working. Give it a little tap, a little tappity tap tap. Right, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up. Well, you can see actually. So we got that light spot, the reflection. It's created, it's created a high, oh God, that's actually quite warm. It's created a high spot there. So now I need to try and manipulate that high spot because I've kind of got the riffle the wrong way round. Go! <laughs> so, oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Uh, yeah. If you haven't already, turn your volume down because I'm sure this is horrific for headphones. Okay, right, see if we can add another one in. Let's get a bigger, bigger clamp. We need a bigger clamp. Right, oh no, it's pulling it off. We just grab a quick, grab a bit of rag. Oh, came close to punching through there. Did. Just there. So there we go. So, not great. 
tell you what I'll do, off camera I'll neaten that up and then we'll get the pay dirt back in it and we'll give it a go. Alright, see you in a minute. I dried out the um, pay dirt the other day, so oh, I'll tell you what we do, we'll do a smaller amount this time, I'm not just going to dump it all in. Just do a small amount, there we go. So for those of you still watching at this point, the competition is still running. So bear in mind you've got a chance of owning a pack of this gold wise gold dirt. Mark, if you're watching, you fancy giving me a bag so I could do a giveaway and I can pan two bags, feel free mate. Right, okay. Now I'll be watching a fair few YouTube videos. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get this get this right this time. Right, I'm going over my riffles. Uh, well, it's, it's collecting. Hang on, look. Uh, let me tip some of this water away. Hang on. Right. Okay. Look, I know it's not great, so please don't hate on me. But, it's collecting here and here. So I assume it is doing something. Right. Possibly should have done more, I think. Or, as my old man would say, just get a gold pan. Uh, right, I was going to reach across the camera. I do apologise. We're getting in shot. Let me bring that over this way. Like I say, I am keeping all the concentrate that falls out in this bucket. So, if we do need it, we've got it. Okay. It is settling a bit bit better actually. I can see the black sand is settling underneath. Come on. Slowly I'm just being careful, just being a bit methodical. Obviously I haven't got the proper equipment so I'm just gonna make the most of what we've got. So what it looks like now, now that the black sand is able to settle, now it is pulling the kind of the gravelly substance off the top. I guess that gravelly substance is gravel. I've only got this amount of area to work with. Hopefully you can see on the camera now that it is staying put. Oh, this is much better than the other day. I'll give you the minute count to skip to if you don't want to see all this rubbish. If you just want to see what does he pull out. Right, let's get a little bit of water in there. Give it a little swish. It's really held it this time. So now I've had a couple of, couple of minutes at that. Again, I'm not, apologies if it's not picking out too well on camera, but it's really holding the black sand. And I think I found another piece of lead. Woohoo! Right. Let's wash all that back in. Get rid of some of that water. Right, let's do a little swell and see what we've got. What am I meant to say? I meant to say, is there any colour in the pan? The answer is, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. That could just be that I've already got it out. Maybe by luck. Uh, okay. Is that gold? No, that just washed away. Nothing. Nada. Right. I'll empty this. In the bucket, I'm going to go through the rest of the material. So, there's probably only a couple of ounces there. And then I'll bring you back if I find anything significant. Okay, right. Now, for the very fact that you're seeing me stood here and not at the table, means that that was an absolute foul. Not so much a foul for my Hobo Gold Pan. Trademark, so I don't have a channel. Um, more for the fact that I think I'd actually already extracted it we found a couple of tiny tiny little specks 
and like an absolute tit, I moved the business card that I put them on, and they are somewhere now on my garage floor, and I've got no hope of finding them. So I'm not going to. What it has shown me is that I do need to not be a tight ass and get a gold pan. So, for those who watched the last video, and I'll re-put the link there if it will let me, um, I am doing a an over 200 subscriber competition. I'm not advertising it anywhere, so if you're watching by this point, then you've got the upper hand on everyone. I am going to give away this seven ounce bag of Goldwise pay dirt. Um, find them on Facebook. I'll pop a somewhere there, or there, or there. I'll do a link to the uh, Facebook page. I'll come across Mark Wiseman, this gold. So there you go, Mark. Free bit of advertising for you, mate. So all 200 of my subs. Um, if you want to see more of this content, please let me know. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm actually quite keen to do more. I've been looking at places to go, so just let me know. If there's something you want to see, great, and I'll kind of tie it in with a whole prepping thing because there's camping involved, there's getting the kit to do it, there's also you being prepared myself to do it, um, and it will mean going up to Scotland and up to the Highlands in itself will be somewhat of an event. So, right, I think that's it. Enough rambling from me. As always, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell button, wherever your bell is. And I will see you next time. <laughs>